Hey, what's up and how's it going? This is Toby and as you guys can see, I'm currently not in my cozy and warm home office, but I'm actually in Boston. I flew all the way from Germany to Boston to participate in a hackathon from the MIT. It's called Reality Hack and I got invited there. It's going to be really exciting because we'll form teams and then within just a couple of days build a full XR prototype. And so I'm going to, of course, take you guys with me so you can experience the MIT Reality Hackathon as if you were a part of it. All right, guys, so it's day one of the MIT Reality Hack and today is, first of all, the registration. It's 8 a.m. and it's freezing cold, so just on my way to that building. And after that, there will be a lot of workshops about exciting topics such as AI and AR and a lot of stuff that sounds really amazing. So I'm quite excited about what's happening and let's see how it goes. All right, guys, I'm here with the one, the legend. Hey guys, Dilmer. how's it going? I'm Dilmer and I'm excited here to be with the hackers. <laughs> so it's really nice here. We just arrived here and there's so many people, including our hero. Of the, of the AR and VR scene, Dilmer. <laughs> we entered the MIT. We have nine minutes. And we're looking for our room, but we can't really find it. So let's see, we're already a bit late, but maybe they didn't start already. So let's see. So after all these events, we then went to the welcoming event where funnily enough, they had some technical issues to get the sound running. <laughs> Lucky for us, they got it working and we got a very warm welcome. And after that, actually the inventor of Guitar Hero came to the stage playing with us a mini game on our phones. <laughs> So after that it was finally time to form teams and I got very lucky finding Manuel, Johannes, Nikki and Vivian which were the best teammates one could imagine. Then we only had a few minutes left to submit our application to the Founders Hack and as the MIT buildings already closed we had to go outside and you can see here Nikki actually typing down our application in the freezing cold at minus 15 degrees Celsius. I don't know how she did it but mad respect for that. All right, guys, so it's day two of the MIT Reality Hack. And yesterday, man, yesterday was just a fully packed day with all those sessions. And then we had the team forming and the welcome event and all of that stuff. And basically today we're going to start hacking and building an idea. So I'm pretty excited about it. And of course, as always, I'll take you guys with me so you can experience it firsthand. You could definitely feel now that the hackathon has started, everyone was pretty excited and working really hard and we also started with a intensive brainstorming session where we decided to build a shared journaling app which is based on WebXR and 3D and uses speech to 3D to generate models at runtime. But as we also got accepted to the Founders Hack, we didn't have too much time until the introduction there started. I hope you uh, had a wild and crazy team selection and it sounds like uh, you guys all have some incredible things in mind for this week. Uh, we are super excited, this is the second iteration, the first of Founders Lab last year was the start of Hack. The greater goal is you all, so consider this uh, your orientation to the next part of your Founder journey. And next up, it was time to meet some mentors and pitch them our idea, discuss with them. And this was super useful. There were some pretty experienced and really cool people that had long discussions with us and really helped to shape our idea. You know, are there specific prompts you think yeah. would be most engaging? Good point. Because he's an educational expert, right? So yeah, yeah. Again, maybe the age, although we already defined it. After that, it was already quite late and we definitely needed to get some work done. Mm -hmm. 
good morning so it is day three of the mit reality hack and yesterday was completely wild so we actually started working at 8 30 a.m until 11 p.m with barely any break however we also got a lot of stuff done basically we already created all the components all the technical parts for our project and now we only kind of kind of mix them up and make sure they all work combined and we also created like a full-on presentation and pitch deck as we're already as we're also um, taking part in the MIT founders hack where you kind of simulate you know potential pitch deck with uh, potential sales numbers and all of that which is very interesting um, and it's also actually then reviewed by uh, venture capital people which also attend the real tech so this is going to be very exciting and today is the last full day we do have and tomorrow at 1 p.m we got to put the pencils down so while things did work quite well well i guess there will be some new problems some new challenges arising today so pretty excited on how it will go and let's see so the day started off with some intense hacking and getting our product to work as well as readying our presentation and marketing materials. You can also definitely see how all the time mentors come by, ask us questions, ask how it's going, give us advice and this was so useful. We had so many great and skilled people there who gave us great advice and awesome inputs so that definitely helped to get things done quicker and also to avoid some mistakes that you could potentially have done. Um, generate a dog. A dog? Ah, oh, yeah. I'll generate a dog. Oh. Yeah, this is the optimized prompt. This is like sort of like uh, optimized for um, the stable diffusion. And generates an image, takes six seconds, and let's see how long the model takes. Oh, model took si the total 16 seconds. That's not very long. So that's the image here, and then we also have the GLB for yeah. the 3D model. Damn! Here we go. Damn, dog. Very cool. So, but now we need to integrate this into needle, and this is yeah. not non-trivial. Yeah, yeah, it is. Then it was time for our first presentation within the founders hack. I want you to think about the most important relationship in your life that has shaped you the most as a human being that you are right now. This is actually the relationship with your parents. But how does this relationship look like nowadays in the modern world? Well, it looks something like this, right? Actually, two and five children like an emotional bond with their parents. So the solution that we as Journify built is a collaborative, gamified, and based on generative AI journaling experience. Competitive landscape, there's traditional methods of communication in families, uh, more tech forward, but none of them integrate interaction, collaboration, and emotional bond. Shortly after this, our first big problem appeared. We hosted our WebXR application locally to just make it easier, but the Quest wouldn't open it up anymore. Also, the Wi-Fi was really unreliable, so we needed to create a separate server, which turned out to become a nightmare. Moreover, our presentation lagged behind a lot. So after MIT closed at 11 p.m., we went to the hotel lobby to get it working and finished the presentation. Then by 4 a.m., we finally got it working and you could tell actually any kind of story within the headset and our generative AI pipeline would transform it into a 3D visualization, which was super, super cool. Traveling to Colombia. Notice how I first use LLM to transform the transcription like traveling to Colombia to an actual optimized prompt for stable diffusion, which can then be used to generate a 3D model. I love that the whole space oh, is already I filled. Got a Colombian map. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cute. Yeah. It is, what is it? 4 a.m. Now it's the last full day of the hackathon, and tomorrow is only until 1. So we kind of got our last power, our last motivation to get all this ready. That's good. What do you guys think? And it's working. It's working. And it's working. So now it was the final day and we only had a few hours left to get our video ready, hand in the pitch deck and upload all of our code to submit it. Anything you want to talk about? 
No. Show me your day, sweetie. Today, I had pizza. Looks like grandma's pizza. My highlight was a trip to Paris. So if you think now would be the time to relax, you'd be very wrong because now was the time where actually judges came by and were testing our project, asking us questions and of course we needed to be very excited and happy to present it. So this was for another one to two hours. All right, so the presentation is over. We've pitched it to many uh, judges and now we're just waiting for the results. So yeah. It was very exhausting, very exciting so far, and let's see, we'll hope that we'll make it to the finals, but uh, you never know. But I guess we're quite optimistic for that, right? You think? Yeah, I actually yeah. think that, I mean, everything goes, right? But uh, yeah, we have a really impressive thing up here. You guys are optimistic? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine now. Yeah. Hey, fingers crossed, we're gonna win it, for sure. <laughs> Yes, sir. So here's here's the logistics. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. Chris Gay opens, 9 a.m. presentation start, 10 a.m. judging uh, starts with demos. So they want you there at 8 a.m. You'll go downstairs in Kretzky and set up for a demo. At 9 a.m. presentation start, each team will show their 30-second video, which you are allowed to edit until 9 p.m. Followed by here today. ITM today. We made it! Once we made it. Stay away, hackers. You're ready for it. Since we made it into both finals, we had another round of demoing and presenting just right after the announcement. And what do you do after a super exhausting day with only two hours of sleep? Of course, you go to a MIT techno party. <laughs> So now it had come, the final final day where we only had to do one more pitch, one more demo and also all the winners would be announced. Will you foster your connections, thinking about social impacts, getting people out in the world, getting them moving. So it's very hard. So the most defining relationship that we have in our lives is the one with our parents. Actually, there's a huge family communication crisis going on. The anatomy of Germify is that we'll begin with social and emotional learning. We'll begin by asking questions and prompts that are based on the latest research in these fields. And basically, they are designed and proven to foster the emotional connection in between children and parents. Is that after these questions have well been answered, we give the answer into a state-of-the-art generative AI pipeline, which will then create 3D models at runtime, which visualize the emotional connection of the parent and the child. So they will have a great collage in the end, which will be a great memory as well. As it's web XR based, it's platform agnostic. We're looking at a $410 billion TAM, that's the global mental health market. Um, our business model is subscription based, direct to consumer, the parent. We're Journify from words to worlds, Journify your journey. So now there was only one round left for presenting and demoing until the final ceremony started where all the winners would be announced. So after a few winners have already been announced, it was finally time for our category. Yeah! Good. Good. 
guys so you saw it it was incredible we won in our category of augmented intelligence and it's a crazy feeling spend three days of or four days or maybe non-stop working and creating our project pitching presenting refining it talking to mentors and it's been an absolute crazy experience kind of a hardcore boot camp of a software development, entrepreneurship, being creative, and yeah, I don't know what to say. If you guys have the chance to do it, I'd definitely recommend it and take part in a hackathon. You will, re you will really learn a lot and uh, it's uh, just an amazing experience. All right, but that's it for this video. And as always, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.